This is Die Sporting Network. What work? They did lose a couple games to Lago and to Patterson about a week ago. About to get this one started. Here in a rematch between City and Edmondson. Baltimore County Championship District 5 overly wins their first ever Baltimore County Championship beating the defending regular season champion Park Bell and the defending 4A champion. So in business city title game at stake here for both Edmondson and City. Dantzler got it there from Sherrod. Look in there as Cole has been asserted in the starting line. The injury to Davis. Back over, blocked from behind from Brown. Back comes 
Cole here for Emerson as Donald Dantzler Sr. trying to win his third Bomo City Championship. Inside, short, offensive rebound to Brown, got this up to go. Oh, nice crowd here at Moreland State for this matchup. Omar Smith trying to get his second straight Bomo City Championship. That's a three, nailed it. From long range, and the Knights up three to two. City not far away here for Morgan. City travels well anyway, and they get a close to you, they do even better. Foster, back to reverse of the call, ladies and gentlemen. So quickly, a 4 3 lead here for the Red Storm. Emerson from the west side, in the name, of course. Jumper, pass up, nails it. Shalda Jr. with a quick five, and City at one. We expect this one to be a back and forth one. Here comes Foster, got racked up there, shooting a pair. <coughs> Two shot foul here. For Foster, to stop it. Foster with two shots try to give the Red Storm the lead back. Guys at a box. Two there with tied at five. Paschal got back. Off the back, no good. Offensive rebound. The roll went in there for Campbell. Campbell with a pretty little second chance there, and City up seven to five. <laughs> Chancellor looking. Pull up. Junior. And see the ball here from Griffin's hands and he's swinging the rack. Pass out back to Griffin. Griffin, long pass. Smith for three. No. Griffin able to fight to get the offensive rebound. Trap there. Ball will stay with City. Shot clock at 27. Good crowd for a Tuesday evening. Great high school national action. Swings it back a couple of times. Smith with it. Back to Howard. Griffin. Shot clock at 10. Smith fakes. Griffin. Pass out for three. No. Howard with the offensive rebound. Puts it in. Now the score city at two. Oh. Swings it. Cole for three. Check the mess. Nice box out there by City. They let nobody get near that ball from Emerson's end. Smith for three. Back. Swings it here to Foster. Foster pulls up and delivers. Nice two. Score nine. The score. Griffin from Prashell. Back. Swings it. Swings it back again. Griffin, under the bands. Reverso, pass over in there, with the layup. Oh, double drive. Dantzler. Looking here, swings it back to Gerard. Over to Brown. Foster against Howard. Match up 
exactly what we want to see. Foul! No reach in late. <laughs> Foul call here. Kansas Kansas City's second foul. That's a second. Quickly two, got to come out in the game. 22 left here in the first quarter. And a nice sellout crowd here for this one. Double dribble and turnover by the Ritual. Ball back to City. And the Knights, a five point game here. in here, swings it back. Alexander, good to see him back playing. Oh, that's a turn. Ah, that's close. That's close. I don't know if it clipped anybody from Atkinson there, man. Look, they went under the legs. Crowd well, continues to foul in. I have some coming from the Baltimore County Championship game they can make. Howard, Griffin, no. Rebound back here to Cole. Cole, remember, coming from Mount Kilmer. Played a lot of experienced minutes. Dancer lost it out. <laughs> nice get it back. A five. 248 remaining here in the first quarter. game against Polly here recently. Long pass, Gerard fakes. Foster for three. No. Spend out there. How you feeling? 130 left here in the quarter. Sitting right now. Oh, that's a little steal. Got it. And he fouled there. the thing. Shooting two is dance like the line when that team left in the fourth. Back. Ah, that stays. Whatever. 
Lions and Shark Lions 16. Shark Lions 16 again, Clark. At 43.3 seconds remaining. Three seconds remaining. Looking, looking. Five second call. Five second. Okay, so was trying to get it in bounds. We weren't able to. In time. City gets it back. 43.3 seconds left here in the first quarter of play. Back. Orton. Brown, Brown, dribbled a bit much, Smith picked him off, Smith, and Dazzler picks him off, Dazzler brings it back, Dish, Brown, Gerard, Gerard breaks the three, back to Foster, Dave Clark at five seconds, Gerard, shooting two, about to get going here from Morgan State's Hill Phil House and City up by six here, 16 to 10. It's stop second quarter. Brown. I don't know stop that. 
St. Joe's down at home. That's Goya. Goya's up 26. 19 in that one. Again, anything can happen. They're in this postseason here. Foster! What we got? Travel. Foster went to go towards the drive. That's what Foster meant. City with the ball back. Spalding up on Tyler Hall. 21-17 in that matchup. Two-pointer. Griffin couldn't get it. Alexander does. Couldn't get the roll. Foster gets the rebound. Sherrod drives. No good. And a reach in. So early lead. Beloy and Sporting versus Calvin Hall. And then uh, mid second quarter there. We're about to. Three minutes into the second quarter here. Five twenty-eight remaining and a half. Smith. Back here to Alexander Howard. Hi, Ocker. Again, Brown able to get in and frustrate things there. Back the other way here. Inside. Swings it back there with Davis. The Leak Davis out. No good there from the Savior Davis. We're going back the other way here to City. Back to Griffin. Who's looking there? Griffin inside. Couldn't get it. Alexander brings it up and gets it in. Flat. Davis fakes the three this time, goes up for two, and puts it in. A little adjustment there, and they lay down the four now. Four point game. C3 from Griffin. Nope. He's not been on target with the three. Smith the one to hit one so far for the night. Some pretty good decisions we've seen throughout the season. Alexander with his second foul of the game as Emerson trying to cut the lead here. It's a two, and they hit the first to cut it to three now. Second shot here for Edmondson trying to cut the lead to two and do. Well, hit them both. 
and 20 to 18 to score. Both teams want to score. Not that deal for either not to be outside of this range. That's a three. No good. Davis with the rebound. He gives it up to Brown. Now with Dansler on the bench. Brown is kind of the ball handler. Stolen here. Nice steal there by Alco. Smith tipped the mess. Offensive rebound. No good. Foster gets the rebound. Robert Price in the game as well here for Edmonton. Makes it. Sherrod brings it over to David. Laser pass stolen. Hargrove lays it in. Said he's lead back to four. And Donald Dazzler Jr. coming off the porch to come right in. Makes it. Brings it. Now, 2.09 left, the Red Storm with Red 2 here at Morgan. It's a quickie timeout, we would say. A quickie timeout. Thanks so much again, checking us out on the Dice Line Network. Email us, StarStevie22.com. Net 22 cash out money sign that's the network. Email. Actually, you did do the email. I'm going to put time to actually. Net Instagram. It's the YouTube. That's the network. Went back, no 
good. Rebound to Howard. Shot clock off. So it was kind of not there for the Red Storm, and that's what they was looking for. Long pass back to Howard. It's game clock at 10. Smith looking for a close shot in front of her. Offensive rebound in there. from half court. Timber and then for our photographer. City up by six at the break. They kind of ended the first quarter that way as well. 26-20 your score. The Knights trying to repeat as Mr. John Catt. What's the second half? There yeah, from the NFL house coming up. Right, second half about to get going a couple updates in game for us and one of them is Mount Campbell holding on to win by six against John Carroll. St. Francis up at halftime Loyal Blakefield was up ten now they're only up by three. Dish layup a Brown no good gets it back no good Howard snatches it away and it's falling up big We'll stay with Atmosphere. A little, little car collision right there.
Brown able to kick the off. Well, he had it. Not able to hold on to it. Griffin. Rashaw. Yeah, up in there. Should he leave out the nine? Foster. And a foul. Howard foul right there. Where would I get off now? teams at three, now with 5.17 related. Try to get a quick scoring update. Something about St. Joe's for the end of the third, up one against Loyola Blakefield. Four minutes left in the third between Spalding, Cavall Spalding up 37-33 now. Again, in Mount St. Joe, St. Francis both win. We'll be in Irvington again on Thursday evening for that one. Keep you updated with Mount Kelmore hosting the winner of Spalding and uh, Looking, 508 left, swings it back, foul there against Emerson. together in this one. And up 11. Brown missed the layup. Back here. Bad it. But Smith able to catch it. Fast shout back to Howard. Blocked. by Foster back to Brown. Dantzler. Reverses. Spins out. Falls everywhere. And a push against City. That's their second team foul. So, 425 left here in the third. Dantzler trying to escape. And no good. Then put the rebound back to Griffin. Last shot with it.
whistle on Wilbur Davis. Gets it back. Goes up, tapped around. City gets it back for Alexander. Gets it up to crash out for two.
Bowers left. Six, five, four. Griffin. Fourth quarter here on the way in this one. City trying to repeat as the District 9 champions for second straight season. A brand new pass here. And they're up by 11. Hill Atmosen, battle of defending MPSSA champions and 1A for Atmosen, 3A for City. Tip the miss there, start the fourth. Atmosen need to be back on the comeback trail. They want to win this one here. Remember, 
City only has two timeouts left. Dazzler for three! Handball! to the hoop to get it going. Back here to Smith against Dantzler. Foul to one. Smith. Horton open for three. No. Smith gets the offensive rebound. Howard. No. Tapped around. Foster gets the rebound. Five minutes left. Here for Emerson. Back. Davis. Face to two. Tipped and miss. Couple one-timers. And a hockey sits there. And he won one down. Smith. Back here to Horton. They're looking for Howard. Answer. Oh, oh, he's done high pretty good. Smith.
expected it to be. Mar St. Joe's took care of fitness. They're going to win by 65 51. They're going to add a little more to that, but uh, it's going to end. Awaiting Mount Carmel in the BCL postseason as the sixth seed there. The Loyal fought their way into the postseason, had a 10 point lead in Irvington. It's not going to be enough.
will take a timeout, I believe. I think City will be talking about a timeout. 46, 45. St. Joe's and the BCL first round coming up next Friday. As you will see here on DSN, see all the second three games and all the games on the BCL single side. Goodbye. 
from City. We'd love like to give it to the boys on that side tonight, but it happens. City and Edmondson, both favorites in 3A and 1A respectively. And the Red Storm with a very tough non-conference schedule. Avenge their last loss in public school play. They swept City in both games this season. And what a what a game we had here on both the girls and boys side. We expect it as much between the two teams. What a moment here in Edison, here at Morgan State University. Here at the Hillfield House, always a great host for the Baltimore City District And it's always a privilege to be a part of it here each season here on the Dodge Running Network. We'll see both scenes down the road throughout the NPSSA postseason. But we're back to private school play, and we'll be at Mount Calvo to see one of the hottest teams in the area, off Mitchell Sporting, and Mount Calvo renew their rivalry, a ticket to UMBC in the MIA Conference Championship game on the line in that one. Until we see you from Texas, so long for now. Emerson winning the District 9 Baltimore City Championship game for the first time in almost a decade's time. So we we'll see you in Edmondson once more. So long for now. This is Die Sporting Network.